Yo, I just read the funniest fucking comment on my, uh, I was looking at my comments, man. I'm trying to respond to as many as I can, man, you know. Mostly love. You know you're going to have the haters, though. You know, the dude said, he said, you a big dude, but you're a power lifter slash perma boker. I've never even heard of fucking perma boker. I don't even, they, they make up new terms every day, man. I don't know. I just, I just work out, he said. But he said, I don't think nobody's taking advice from you as far as cutting. I'm like, shit, I just did a cut, man. You know what I mean? I was like 239 in December, cut down to 205. I'm like, shit, if you can see my DMs, what you want me to screenshot my DMs of people asking me for game on the gym? I'm like, but you know how people be, man. If you got a phone and an internet connection, anybody can come online and say whatever they want to say, but don't don't got the results and shit, man. You know, I ain't got shit to prove, man. I. They, they, you can see what I'm doing in the gym every day. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. But let's get right into the video, though, man. We ain't got we ain't got time to waste on no small fish, man. We got bigger fish to fry, like blowing this YouTube channel up. You know, I need to get to 50,000 subscribers. I need to get to 100,000. You know, not be worrying about no dudes. I ain't even got no profile picture telling me something about the gym. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to talk about how to train your biceps, forearms, triceps, how to get the arm games, man. I get all kind of gym questions, as I said. I might touch on a little bit of everything in this video, man. Some, I'm gonna try to remember some of the DMs I be getting about people asking me stuff about the gym. But the thing with the biceps, you know what I'm saying? You gotta hit it with more volume. You want whatever body part you want to bring up. Let's say you feel like your back is not big compared to your other body parts. At the end of the day, you have to hit it with more volume, man. Not it might it's not enough to just do one workout a week. You know, I remember when I really got results with my arms, you know, as far as blowing my arms up and stuff. I trained arms damn near every day for like almost a year straight. And I stole that that routine off of CT Fletcher. You know, so what I did, I would do like three, four arm workouts a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The other days I might I do like, you know, chest, legs, back. And then at the end of those workouts, when I did chest, legs, and back, I would touch on arms like maybe a few sets. I might do three sets of biceps. I started hitting them every day. Then my shit just started swelling up. You know what I mean? And I probably like I started seeing results six months to a year later, man. You know, so you got to hit them with more volume. Then this is the next thing I see people doing in the gym, man, when it comes to training arms. They go too fucking heavy. You got to lighten the weight. You got to think, right? Your, your tendons... Your ligaments and your bicep muscle, tricep muscle, they're not designed to curl a lot of fucking weight. You don't need a lot of weight. You know, the most I might do on bicep curls is probably 40s to 45s, maybe the 50s. You know what I'm saying? But I just lighten the weight and I focus on range of motion. You know what I'm saying? Getting the pump, slowing it down, slow the reps down. Ain't no need to be going fast. You know, you're going to get the pump if you slow it down. Focus on, like I said, range of motion. Keeping, oh shit, my damn, damn tripod about to fall over. Well, we good, money. Keeping the tension on the muscle, whatever muscle group you're training. And like I say, hit that value, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the next thing, too, that'll help you out with your arm gains, man. If you hit calisthenics, calisthenics will put size on your arms as well. Pull-ups, chin-ups, dips, diamond push-ups. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of that shit, man. I love to do, like like I say, pull-ups. Uh, the diamonds, they're going to blow your triceps up. All that shit is going to work, man. You know, not you don't only got to do the weights, man. If you do the calisthenics too, they're going to beef your arms up, man. But the main thing I can stress is to fucking hit that value, man. Whether it be your legs, whether it be back, uh, chest, whatever it is. If you feel like you got a lagging body part, that's what I do. I start hitting it with more volume. You know, I'm going to start back. When I do my boat this winter, I'm going to start hitting more calves because I want to bring my calves up as much as possible. And I think I'm going I'm to I'm key in on my bicep. I don't got the biggest bicep peak, so I'm going to just try to beef up my arms as much as possible. So I might start going back to hitting arms three, four times a week, maybe touch calves every day. You know, the calves, you walk every day, so you're using your calves every day. So you got to hit the calves with a lot of value. You got to do like sets of 20, 25 reps, shit like that, heavyweight, you know, shit like that, man. What's some other shit people been asking about the gym, man? How to get your max up on the bench. You got to go in there, get you a spotter. If you already know your max, I see people, they saying they stuck at like 315. They've been stuck at it for an X amount of time. 
you're not stuck there. You gotta keep hitting that shit, man. So if you go in there, you do 315, you can't get past, you try 320, let's say, you don't get it. You maybe get it up halfway. Ne the next week, go right back and hit that shit. Slap that shit right on the bar and you gotta get that dog mentality in you. What I mean by that is, you go in there and you gotta mentally will yourself too. You know what I'm saying? That's that muscle mind connect. You like, anything I put on that fucking bar is going up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know what I'm saying? You got to motherfucking will yourself. Fuck it. If you got a screen, there's been times, shit, when I'm maxing out, fuck as soon as that motherfucking bar touch my chest, boom, ah! You got to get that aggression out. You know, let motherfucking, let that adrenaline loose, man. Don't worry about motherfuckers in there talking about, oh, this is why I don't go to the gym. They be in there grunting, hollering, screaming. If you fucking scared, go to fuck the church, man. It's the gym, man. Motherfuckers in here trying to make gains by any means necessary. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? What's some other stuff people may ask me about the gym, man? Cutting, you know, my, my guy he said, nobody's asking me for cutting advice. I got numerous DMs in my message on Instagram, shit. You can see the comments on here, people asking me what I'm eating, what I do to cut, man. You At the end of the day, you have to consume less calories, man, that's it. You gotta be in a calorie deficit on a daily basis. You know, I don't track my calories. You know, I don't do none of that. I leave that to the bodybuilders. You know, he said I'm not a, a bodybuilder. I know that. I, I never said I was a bodybuilder. I just happened to work out. I happen to be a former college athlete, you know, so she, I throw up a lot of weight and, and I just happen to know how to cut. Now I study the game. You know what I'm saying? When I wanna get leaner, I just start eating cleaner. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I start, I up my cardio and I, I mainly focus on the diet. That's the majority of the battle right there, whether you're trying to cut, whether you a skinny motherfucker, and you're trying to bulk up. It all, majority of it lies in the diet. So like I said, man, you know, if you wanna track your macros, micro calories, you can get your scale, weigh your food. I don't take it that far. I just start meal prepping, and I, I try to eat meal prep food majority of the time. You know, I'm a prison guard, so, I work night shift. I end up staying over a lot, volunteering the day shift for the overtime. I, I do a lot of overtime. So what helps me too is during the daytime, you know, I don't really, I don't really eat too much except I might drink some coffee. I'll have some fruit and I'll drink water. And I'll have my first meal probably around 1 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll get off at 4 p.m., go to the gym, come home, eat another one of my meal prep containers. And that's it. I just keep it simple, man. You know, as far as what I'm eating, the same shit you see everybody else eating, baked chicken, fish, uh, ground turkey. Sometimes, you know, I like steak, so I get a steak, roasted vegetables, rice, broccoli. You know, the same shit. You already know what it is you got to do. You know, the majority of the battle, like I said, is diet and it's also discipline. If you discipline, the shit is easy. You know what I'm saying? The discipline is hard. It's easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? For me, I like I said, I just lock in. You know, I don't. I don't when I want to look a certain way, I know I have to. I have to be more dialed in on my diet. I can't be fucking up. I can't just be eating every, everything and anything on a day to day basis. You know, if you ain't disciplined, you ain't gonna fucking see no result. It just is what it is, man. If it was easy, everybody would be walking around jacked. Everybody would be, you know, able to see their ass, but there's a reason why majority of people don't get the results, man, because they don't have discipline. They're not consistent. You know, it's just like people telling me, oh, I started working out, but I can't find the motivation. At the end of the day, you either want the shit or you don't, man. You know, I don't want to hear no sob stories, no crying and complaining. Save that shit for somebody else who gives a fuck, man. I'm focused on my games, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I can lead the horse to the water, but I can't make them drink. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like want you to hold their hand, baby them, pacify them. You either want the shit or you don't. If you don't want it, it ain't for you, bro. It just is what it is, man. It's, it's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, at the gym, this fitness, working out shit, getting the results, looking a certain way, getting compliments from people, people seeking you out for advice. It's not for everybody. You know, you just got to accept that at the end of the day, man, you know. Uh, what's some of uh, 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 people that be asking me about the bulking? You know, it's the opposite of when you cutting. You know, I see people. You know, they be like a hundred. They say they weigh like one dude told me he weigh like hundred and sixty pounds, right? And he trying to add. He having trouble adding on mass 
to his frame, he trying to add muscle mass and size, bulk up. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm talking to him, you know, and I'm asking him, what's he eating? And he telling me he eating like baked chicken, like five times a day, broccoli. I'm like, my guy, that's what you eat when you're trying to cut. You know, if you want to add on size, like see for me, not only do I know how to cut, but for me, it's easy to add on weight just because I'm a natural foodie. I like to eat anyway. I'm the type, you know, I just went out to eat, man. We went to a uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. I had a damn drink. I had the damn, uh, the shrimp uh, appetizer. You know, I had chicken, rice, uh, broccoli. Then I think, uh, what well, my girl, she got, um, what the hell she get? Those little pita chips with the uh, spinach dip. We eating all that and I, I clean my plate up. So I, I, I naturally eat a, uh, a lot of calories, so it's easy for me to put on weight when I'm trying to bulk up, you know what I'm saying? I can fluctuate, I can cut down to 205, then I, you know, I start slacking up a little bit on my diet, or I say, you know, I'm about to start bulking up. A few months, I could be back up to like 220, 225. You gotta eat them fucking calories. You gotta eat like your life depends on it, and you gotta lift heavy, you know what I'm saying? You gotta eat like them people on my 600 pound life. They get so fucking big like that because they eating like fucking 30,000 calories a day. They not really eat 30,000 calories. I was just trying to, you know, make a little fucking joke. But they probably eating like, they have two, three whole fucking pieces of what you expect. If you eat that much, you know, they just forget to add in the working out part. So that's why they get so big in the wrong way. If you eat like they eat and you lifting weights and motherfucking pumping that iron, you're going to swell up. It just is what it is, man. Ain't no... People say they got a fast metabolism, shit like that. You just gotta force feed yourself down there, man. You gotta goddamn get on the schedule and consume as much fucking food as you can. I'm not talking about, like I said, broccoli, chicken shit. I say for like six months, just eat fucking whatever. As much food as you can, pizza, fucking burgers, pasta, whatever they got the most calories in it. Just fucking eat, fucking eat. Force feed yourself, man. You gotta eat. Even damn near when you ain't hungry. That's how you put on size. That's how you bulk up. See, like I said, I'm the type, I can eat a whole pizza by myself. I'm the type of person that'll fucking eat a whole tub of ice cream. Then fucking shit, I don't know. Wash it down with a glass of milk. Shit like that, man. I'm like Buddy Love trapped in Sherman Clump's body, man. I say that shit all the time. That's the key to bulking up, you know? And if you're trying to cut, like I said, you big, you trying to see your ass, you gotta eat cleaner to get later. That's the key right there, man. Majority of this shit, you know, when it comes to how you wanna look, it all, majority of it lies in the food that you consuming, how much food you consuming, how many calories you taking in versus how many calories you are cutting if you're trying to cut. You know, that that's, that's as simple as I can make it, man. I can't put it no more plain, simple, vanilla than that. You know, like I said, trying to get stronger, increase your maxes. You just gotta keep at it, man, whatever your max is. Once you can hit that, say you trying to do three, you 315, right? You trying to increase your bench. You put 320 on there, you don't get it. You get it halfway. So you just stay there, right? Keep going up to 320. Then you finally get it. Okay, boom, now your max is 320. You stay there and you keep working up towards that. Then when you can hit 320 for like two reps, you go up. Add on five or 10 more pounds on the bar. That's how you keep going, man. That's how I progressed over the years, man. I remember when I first started lifting weights, I was 13 years old, right? I'm in the ninth grade, right before my freshman year of football. My uh, Little League football coach, he got me started lifting weights. I could only bench like 95 pounds, the bar, and 225s on the, uh, the bar. But I kept at it, you know, I, I was hungry and shit. My shit kept going up every month. By the time I got to my senior year, of uh, high school, I was 185. I weighed 140 pounds by, right before my freshman year of high school football. My senior year, I was 185 pounds. I'm benching 335, you know what I'm saying? I was first team all Ohio, first team all state. Shit, got a football scholarship, all this and that. And even after that, you know, I, all through college, my strength kept going up. My bench got up to like 365. Then I stopped playing football. I was still like 365, 375. I'm in adulthood, I'm still working out though. My bench keep going up. Like last year was the most I ever did. I got up to 400, I got the 450 on the bench. You know, these days I'm probably around, 
I say I could probably do about 420 on the bench. I do 315. I'd hit that shit like 17 times, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember dude. Dude in my comments, man. Oh, we already had this debate, man. The dude, he, I seen that shit earlier. He said the plates, because one of my gyms I go to, my main gym, they got the rubber plates. He said that they're not the same as the steel plate. I'm like, bro, I've already done that video like two or three times of me going to my other gym. My other gym, see, they got the steel plates. I'm like, bro, I go in there and do the same exact fucking reps with the same weight, bro. I'm like, what? What more do you want, bro? Like, these dudes, they just be lost online, man. It's like, I don't know, man. Like, you can't help everybody in life, man. Some people are just delusional. Some people are just clowns. It is what it is, man. I ain't got time. I'm focused on these videos, trying to get this content out to my people. That's trying to get the gains. That's trying to get the results. That's trying to, you know, blow they shit up in the gym, man. You know, like I said, I'm not for everybody. I understand that, you know, but shit, I got a little audience, I got a little buzz going, so I'm just gonna focus on the people that's focused on me, that's rocking with me. I'm not worried about these other dudes, man. I got proof, I got the videos, bro. I got the pictures of me when I was 239 versus when I just did my last cut, got down to 205. You see my ass, bro. Motherfuckers come up to me out in public asking me for gym advice, seeking me out, shit like that, giving me compliments. So I don't have shit to prove online, like I say, any motherfucker with a phone and an internet connection could come online and say whatever they want, man. You know, it's like the wild, wild west, you know. But a lot of these dudes, man, like I say, they just keyboard warriors. They probably in the bed. They probably don't even, for all I know, they probably don't even fucking own a gym membership, man. These motherfuckers quoting some shit they read online or in Muscle and Fitness magazine, you know. So we just leave them, we just let them dudes be, man. They ain't talking about, they ain't making no noise, man. Nobody's tuning in to them. Nobody's definitely not asking them for no advice, man. You know, I'm like, I troll them back. I'm like, well, shit, since you know it all, let me subscribe to your channel, man. And them fuck ain't even got no subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's that in a nutshell, man. You know, you got any comments, any questions, any input on this video, man. Any more gym advice you need, make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you follow me. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at the Ghetto Body. But I got the merchandise for sale on my website. Tap in with me, man. Copy a hoodie or a t-shirt. I got a lot of gym-related shit, man. You know, shit to fire you up for this working out, this gym life. We just gonna keep embracing it. We gonna keep rolling. I'm 22 years in the game. I've been lifting weights 22 years straight. I've never taken off more than two weeks in my whole lifting career, you know? This shit for life. This shit a lifestyle for me, you know? I work out every day. I work out on vacation, you know? I work out on the holiday. I don't give a fuck what day it is, man. I'm going to the gym. When I'm at the gym, they know not to call me. Don't, I'm not gonna answer the phone. Unless it's my job calling me about some money, but some overtime money, I won't answer the phone when I'm at the gym. You know, that's how serious I take this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, keep, if you rocking with me, keep rocking with me, man. We gonna blow this shit up. This shit finna take off, man. My last video I got, it got like 60,000 views on there, man. I was talking about how the inmates get jacked in prison you know i work at i'm a correction officer so I, i'm just speaking on shit i experience or shit i'm knowledgeable on man i'm not coming on here speaking on no shit i don't know nothing about man so this ain't no cap this is real life experience this is shit i picked up and learned over the years y'all know how we coming let's get motivated Boop.